It's the 14th of August, I'm Jerusha Sukhya Rath and you're watching News 24 Live. Here are today's headlines. The Kraji case intensifies, deep slurp residents protest over drug abuse and police investigate the Creston Mall shooting. The investigating officer behind the arrest of Czech fugitive Radovan Kreja and five others did not own an official police diary as required by the SA Police Service, the High Court sitting in Palm Ridge heard yesterday. Now instead, Captain Mashudu Freddy Ramuhala told the court that he relied on memory instead of notes regarding the arrest of Kreja in November 2013. Ramuhala was under cross-examination by defence lawyer Anneline van Hever for Kreja. Ramuhala, who has 37 years police experience, was testifying in the trial within a trial aimed at establishing whether a co-accused in the trial was pressured into a confession by the police. Now, Kredger and five others are on trial for kidnapping, attempted murder and dealing in drugs. They allegedly recruited a man known as Dr. Nkosi to help smuggle 25 kilograms of methamphetamine or TIC to Australia. Nkosi worked for a cargo company at OR Tambo International Airport where he disappeared with the shipment. Kreja and his co-accused allegedly then kidnapped and tortured his brother Becky Lukele in a bid to have him reveal the whereabouts of his sibling. Residents in Deep Slurt, north of Johannesburg, protested over drug abuse in the area last night, handing over an alleged drug dealer to police. Eight scrap metal, gold and diamond exchange outlets were damaged by the community as residents suspected that the outlets contributed to the scourge of substance abuse in the area. Now, around 200 people had marched to the police station and handed over an alleged drug dealer. The residents then attempted to barricade William Nickel Drive, but police managed to contain the situation. And finally, police are investigating a robbery that took place at Cresta Mall in Johannesburg yesterday in which one person was shot and injured. An elderly man was shot and wounded when three armed men robbed the eye store in the mall. According to police, the three men entered the eye store and ordered the employees to lie down. They, de they then took an undisclosed number of cell phones and iPads and fled the scene. The men started shooting randomly in the parking lot of the mall as they got away, injuring the elderly man. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24 Live, follow us on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.